What's up guys, this is Tony with SwoleCityFitness.com. We're up here at North Central Florida YMCA in Gainesville. I wanna show you guys some chest exercises that you, you may or may not already use, but I wanna explain as to why a dumbbell is gonna be better than a barbell for working out your chest. Now, the chest goes like this. You have the upper fibers that start here on the clavicle on your collarbone, and they come this way to insert right around here on your humerus, on your arm. And the middle fibers keep going the same exact way, but they go in a little more upwards direction. And then the lower fibers go up even more, and they all insert right here on the same point. And the whole purpose of each of these fibers is to bring the arm from here to here. That's called adduction. So when you do a barbell, you come up like this, and that's as far as you can adduct your arms. That's the most you're gonna contract because you just can't come any closer because the barbell holds you in one position. But when you use a dumbbell, you can come up and at the same time that you're pressing up, you can bring your arms in a little bit extra, a little more to get that extra contraction. So that's why I prefer dumbbells over a barbell and it's just safer for your shoulders. So first one we're gonna do is flat bench dumbbell press. I'm using kind of a light weight because I just got surgery. So, you, keep your, you don't want your, your arm to come lower than 90 degrees, right about here. Maybe a little lower, but you don't want to come way down here. Then you're going to be stretching and putting a whole bunch of stress on your rotator cuff and your anterior deltoid, and you're going to regret it later. So you want to come up, and as you come up, you adduct, you bring your arms closer in until you touch the weights together. You come down about 90 degrees of the arm, push them up and come in at the exact same time. Now you also want to think about contracting your chest. You want to flex it at the same time that you're pushing the weight. That's going to give you even more of a contraction. All right, the next one I want to show you guys is going to be the incline dumbbell press. This is going to help you really get the upper fibers of your chest and it's going to be a lot safer and more effective than using a barbell because just like with the flat bench, you get more adduction when you come up. So you come up here, touch the dumbbells together. Same thing, you come down, you want your arms to be about parallel to the floor. You want a nice 90 degree angle. You don't want to go too far down or you're gonna hurt yourself. Then you come up, nice and slow, push the dumbbells together, and you come back down to the same spot and come up. The next thing I want to show you it's just gonna be normal dips. See, I like these better than a decline dumbbell press because sitting on the bench, it's hard to get your feet in there. You wanna slip, fall forward as you're going. Um, if you're using a barbell, it's hard to get it over you from that position. It's just a pain. And then a lot of gyms don't even have a, a decline bench anyways. So I prefer dips, you can do them anywhere. And it's a, a nice, easy movement so you don't have to worry about getting the weight over your body. So you can, you can strap some weight onto you and then just go. So I like to keep my, my knees kind of tucked in. It keeps me bent over, which is gonna target your chest much more than if you're like this, which is gonna target your triceps. And this is a good compound movement to hit primarily your lower pecs, which is what we're going for now since we've already hit the upper and the middle fibers. You wanna put a weight on you if you can that's gonna make you fail between eight and 12 repetitions. All right, the last exercise I wanna show you is gonna to be to hit all three areas of the chest, upper, middle, and lower. Um, you could do it on the pec deck, but I like this a little better because your arm's not gonna be way out here and your shoulder's not gonna come back way back here. So it's gonna be easier on the shoulder and you're gonna get more adduction than you would on the pec deck because you're gonna be able to bring your arm across the body. See, when you're doing, when you're on the pec deck, you come right here, and then you're forced to stop because your hands run into each other. But on this, going one at a time, you can come all the way across the body and adduct the arm, which is what the whole uh, pectoralis major is for. So this is for the upper fibers of the chest. We're gonna come up and across the body. Right here, you wanna try to flex the upper fibers of your chest at the same time that you're pushing right across the body 
Then we're going to hit the middle fibers. Come up. We're going to do the same thing. Press it and across the body. This is really going to help hit the center of your chest, just like the flies would, but better. And at the same time, it's going to be easier on your shoulders. So you're just pressing like you would with a dumbbell, but you get to come all the way across your body because you're not running into another dumbbell. Okay. And then we're going to go for the lower chest, raise it up a little more, just like a dip. You're just pushing down just like this. You want to come across the body. You really want to try to squeeze the lower fibers of your chest. You got to actively think about it. Okay. Push them down like that and just like that. You want to do that on both sides, probably two sets for each motion. All right. So uh, I want to thank North Central Florida YMCA for letting us shoot our video here. If you liked the video, you found it helpful, please subscribe to our channel and uh, come see us at swolecityfitness.com.